This is our uh, Michiana Home Show recap video. Uh, falling apart it looks like. I got a little scene. <laughs> anyway, that's what happens uh, when you work uh, all day long and all weekend long. And yeah, you just get exhausted after a while. Uh, but anyway, our, vin our booth uh, our neighbor here was Kevin. Who owns uh, Pleasure Pools. And we've got Renee over here who sells the zip, uh, zip tips. Um, Basically, they uh, seal bags and things like that. Uh, both uh, good neighbors. Uh, give you a recap of the things that we need to talk about. Um, we need to make sure that we pay for the electric uh, this year. Um, last this last year, we forgot to sign up for the electric, and it's a separate process here at this show versus just doing it through the home show uh, through the uh, uh, through Mel. So it's just we want to make sure that we do that. Uh, um, they did change the traffic flow this year. First, uh, they uh, previous years they go through this one hall over here first, and then uh, normally it would come down this hallway and out this way, and then into the big room, which is just on the other side of this. But uh, this year they did things differently. When you first arrived, you went downstairs and did all the people down there. Then you got shuffled into the big room, and then you got shuffled down here. So it was about an hour and 15 minutes or so before we usually saw any traffic. So uh, before the Michigan Home Show next year, we're going to need to make sure that we talk to them and find out exactly uh, the traffic flow and how that's going to work. I think it would be really behoove us to be in the aisle way between um, outside that other door or right next to Tony uh, in future years. So if we can get signed up to do that, that'd be great. Uh, Weston came up Saturday at 3 p.m. and helped sell. Hi, Weston. Hi. Doing a, doing a recap video. And uh, let's see, he he, uh, he helped sell today too. How many did you sell total? In total, oh, today. Fort Wayne one too? Nope, just today and yesterday. Nine. Four, you think. sold nine. Or, yeah, you sold, yeah, you sold, yeah. That's right. Four. 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 Anyway, um, you sold four. Um, uh, just something to think about and put down for planning sessions. Women buy from women faster compared to buying from a man. I know, it would be nice. Uh, that's something to think about. Uh, not necessarily that they just don't buy, they just buy faster from a woman. Uh, let's see. Um, Let's see here. What else? Do I have? We do have a bell uh, that people can ring, and that attracted a lot of attention. So I did go ahead and buy a gong. Tony had an idea about buying a gong. I got one of those, and uh, we'll put a heart on it. We'll call it like the love gong, I think, something like that. Uh, let's see here. We have a bell. Uh, let's see. The traffic count was down on all days, but the quality of people was much better. Um, we didn't have a lot of people. Uh, uh, we don't have any money, and we also didn't hear a lot of people saying, well, are you going to be here all weekend, and things like that. These people that were actually coming, they, they truly aren't going to come back in. Uh, they just seem to be a little bit uh, better. We, we sold a total of 63 uh, certificates uh, of the uh, 69s and the 169s. Uh, let's see here. We had, uh, last year, we had 9,200 people traffic count. This year, we had 6,900 people, so it was down like 20, you know, was that 2,600 people uh, was down? So that was, uh, I think it, you know, definitely kept some of it down. Our close rate was incredible: 37, 47, and 41 percent. That's a great close rate. Um, the weather was very cold; nothing above 30 the whole time. It's bright and sunny out. You can see that, and you can see this, the sky up there through there. So it's very pretty. The location of where our booth spot is is it's not a bad booth spot by any means. It's just not the greatest. Um, as far as, because sometimes people like now, since they rerouted traffic, um, it just kind of goes through and people are like, yeah, I'm ready to get out of here. Uh, on the other hand, we seem to sell a lot better after people have been here a little while. And so that kind of really helps us. But there needs to be a middle middle point right there. Uh, let's see here. We did add bins to the cubbies and I Velcroed those down for some business cards. So those are nice. And let's see. Uh, we need to design the two night uh, packages better. Right now it has two couples romance getaways and people don't understand what that is. So I didn't sell a whole lot of those. Um, but other than that, it was a really good show. I am very, uh, very pleased uh, with Michigan Home Show. I don't know if we beat last year's record or, or the five years ago record, but I do know that uh, we did really good. Um, so it's really exciting to see if whether or not we had the best year ever, but I'll be able to tell that year uh, after a while. All right, thanks so much for
tuning in.